At Salamis National Lab, the main mission of the laboratory is to solve some of the toughest security challenges through excellent science. The material science program at Los Alamos is no different. We provide material solutions to challenges associated with nuclear deterrence, energy security, and global security. Our primary objective is to support performance prediction of traditional materials and novel materials needed to address some of the toughest national security problems. We are consistently performing experiments as well as developing models to examine novel ways to certify new materials and explore the mechanisms that control performance in some of our traditional materials. You can imagine a main mission of the laboratory calls us to have leadership excellence in energetics. We have an end-to-end -end capability in energetic materials that includes being able to synthesize novel energetic materials from the molecular level all the way to testing and validating pounds, thousands of pounds of explosive materials here on the hill. Over the years we've developed a unique capability and we have facilities and firing sites that allow us to do experiments that cannot be done anywhere else in the country. Some of the key challenges in developing new explosives include balancing a property such as safety and performance. So typically when you develop a new explosive, conventional materials have this trend that includes the higher the performing the molecule or explosive is, the more sensitive it is. So balancing those two properties is, is really critical. Los Alamos has a, a very unique suite of static and dynamic platforms that we apply to high explosive science. These range from um, chemistry labs for making and characterizing new explosive molecules to gas guns and powder guns such as the one you see behind me, all the way up to radiographic tools such as our proton radiography facility or our DART facility where we do integral tests. One of the major areas that we're working in right now is understanding um, microstructure to performance. So how does um, processing affect structure and how can we be more predictive from going from structure at you know, the uh, micron length scale up to performance and safety behaviors at the continuum or bulk level. At Los Alamos, we have a strong program in predicting the performance of nuclear energy materials, specifically cladding and fuels. Additionally, we have a program to examine novel synthesis methods of nuclear fuels in support of nuclear energy programs uh, through the DOE. The current state of nuclear fuels has been kind of evolving over the last uh, decade. So after the events of the Fukushima Daiichi disaster, this kind of pivoted towards the, what's known as accident tolerant fuels. So a lot of the work that we've done at LANL has focused on that in the past six years. Uranium dioxide is what's currently used now in nuclear reactors, so we're looking at how we can improve the properties so that they um, are a little bit safer um, than the current fuels. We're also looking at uranium nitrides and uranium silicide fuels as well, which will give us better thermal properties and also improve the accident tolerance of those fuels. And then in the last couple of years, it's also pivoted more towards the micro reactors and also nuclear thermal propulsion to support uh, deep space missions or missions to Mars. Los Alamos is lucky enough to be one of the Office of Basic Energy Sciences user facilities for nanotechnologies. We have a robust uh, program through SINT, the Center for Integrated Nanotechnologies, where we have users from around the world come and use capabilities here on the hill to examine mechanisms that control functionality of nanomaterials and also synthesis of novel nanomaterials. Although we are working on a variety of nanomaterials ranging from semiconductor to dielectrics, from organic to inorganic compounds, in the challenge in terms of synthesis are very similar. For example, one of the challenges is to build the correlation between synthesis, structure, and function. To achieve this unique three-dimensional nanocomposites, we are using uh, laser molecular beam epitaxy to grow this nanostructure. Users worldwide can use this technique to grow a variety of nanostructures uh, with control functionality. 
One of the things that has been most exciting about working at Los Alamos has been that we have a very robust postdoctoral program. There are over 400 postdocs from all around the world working here at Los Alamos. This is vital to the way we do our science. Many of the current scientists, the permanent scientific staff, were postdocs at some time, and so we see this as incredibly important to our succession planning at Los Alamos. As we look forward to the future, we're being called increasingly to develop novel materials, to respond to harsh environments and extreme environments, and that has changed our way of looking at material science. We have an increased focus on manufacturing and synthesis of new materials, and an increased focus on how to certify and qualify those materials.